Welcome back to The Diamond Consumer, the podcast that breaks down the beautiful, the brilliant, and the behind the scenes of the jewelry world. I'm your host, Ms. Diamonds, and today's episode is one of my favorites because we're talking diamonds. And not just any diamonds. We're putting natural diamonds, lab-grown diamonds, and those icy, cool Canadian diamonds under the microscope. We'll dive into what makes each one unique, the ethical and environmental considerations behind them, and even explore real jewelry brands that are leading the charge in diamond traceability and transparency. So, if you've ever wondered whether that glittery stone on your finger was mined from the earth or grown in a lab, or whether it's telling the truth of its journey, this episode is for you. Natural diamonds are the OG, formed over 1 to 3 billion years under crushing heat and pressure in the Earth's mantle. They're literally time capsules of carbon. That kind of age and rarity adds to the emotional allure. They've long symbolized eternal love, luxury, and status, but beneath that shimmer, there's a complex history. The pros? One of a kind natural formation. High sentimental and traditional value generally better resale value, especially for certified stones. The cons, environmental impact. Mining often scars ecosystems and emits serious greenhouse gases. Human rights concerns. Conflict diamonds or blood diamonds have historically funded war and exploitation. Lack of transparency. Even today, it can be hard to know exactly where a natural diamond came from, unless you work with a company that offers full traceability. Now, let's flip the script. Lab-grown diamonds, sometimes called cultured or man-made diamonds, are identical to natural ones in every scientific sense. They're made using either high-pressure, high-temperature, HPHT, or chemical vapor deposition, CVD. And the result? Pure carbon crystals, just like earth-made diamonds. The pros? Environmentally cleaner. No excavation, no habitat destruction. Ethically sourced. No ties to conflict zones. More affordable. Typically 30 to 40% less than a natural diamond of the same cut, clarity, and carat. But here's the trade-off. Resale value is lower, at least for now. Energy use can still be high, depending on the lab's power sources. Perception stigma. Some people still view them as less real, even though scientifically, they are. Lab-grown diamonds are especially popular with Gen Z and Millennials, generations known for prioritizing sustainability and value over tradition. Let's head north to Canada. Canadian diamonds have carved out a niche as the ethical, traceable choice in the natural diamond market. Most come from mines like Ikati, Diavik, and Gaucho Quay in the Northwest Territories. These operations are governed by some of the strictest environmental and labor laws on the planet. What makes Canadian diamonds stand out? Full traceability. Each diamond can often be traced back to its mine of origin. Some are laser inscribed with an ID number you can verify online. Conflict-free guarantee, thanks to the strong government oversight. Indigenous partnerships. Many operations include agreements with local indigenous communities to share economic benefits and job creation. The caveats? Price premium. You'll often pay 10 to 20% more than you would for a similar non-Canadian diamond. Still mining. Even with regulations, the process disturbs land, contributes to emissions, and disrupts ecosystems. Greenwashing risk. Canadian diamond doesn't always mean ethical. It's important to verify the company behind the claim. So, how can you really know where your diamond came from? Let's talk about some jewelry brands and companies leading the charge in diamond traceability and transparency. Brilliant Earth. Known for offering blockchain-tracked diamonds, including Canadian options. 
Each diamond can be traced through its entire journey from mine to market. Pioneers in transparency, often sharing sourcing and production details with customers. De Beers Tracer Platform The iconic company has developed Tracer, a blockchain-based platform to track the provenance of natural diamonds. Tracer tracks each stone from the mine using advanced tech, aiming to rebuild trust and sustainability in the natural diamond space. Mia Donna, one of the earliest adopters of lab-grown only diamond offerings, donates a portion of profits to initiatives that reverse the diamond industry's historical damage through their Greener Diamond Foundation. Vray by Diamond Foundry offers stunning lab-grown diamonds made in solar-powered foundries. Every diamond comes with full origin disclosure and environmental impact data. These brands are helping to answer a question that has long plagued the jewelry world. Where did this come from, and at what cost? All right, you've got options, and a lot to think about. So, let's recap. Choose natural diamonds if you value tradition, uniqueness, and long-term resale. But make sure they come with traceability or from ethical suppliers like Canadian mines or blockchain tracked vendors. Choose lab-grown diamonds if your priorities are ethics, affordability, and sustainability. And resale value isn't a deal breaker. Choose Canadian diamonds if you want a natural stone with rigorous sourcing standards, but be ready to pay more and still do your due diligence. There's no universally right choice. The right diamond is the one that aligns with your values, your budget, and your story. At the end of the day, a diamond is more than just carbon. It's a symbol, a promise, a legacy. But in today's world, Transparency shines as brightly as any carrot count. Thanks for joining me today on The Diamond Consumer. If you found this episode helpful, or if it changed the way you see that sparkle, share it with a friend or leave a review. It helps this series shine a little brighter too. Until next time, stay curious, stay conscious, and stay sparkling.